have anger? Uh, I mean, I think everybody has a little bit of, I mean, what football is, 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 is controlled chaos, controlled rage, controlled emotion. I mean, my, my position was to cripple people. (laughs) (laughs) And you needed that anger to do that. Yes, that, that was something that you had to condition yourself to be. Uh, that's not normal because if you're if you're that if you if you're that way too young, you're dead or in jail. Yeah, man. So the mental conditioning that goes into you know any professional athlete, not so much you know football is the majority. Rugby is tough, but football. I mean, you, you know these guys. I mean, it, it's just it's a sellout every play. Good ones. You know, it's uh, you got to play angry, chip on your shoulder. And a lot of that comes from when we talk about victimhood, uh, you can either, you know, have that slight and you can use that slight for fuel or you can use that slight for uh, for a blankie to cry on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can play with that chip on your shoulder and you prove anybody. I mean, I don't forget anybody that said something that I couldn't do. And so I always, you know, we smile, you nod, and then you go out there, and, you know, you prove them wrong. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because, you know, somewhere, some way along the way, they're only saying that people only, only, you want to put people down because they're jealous or they've never been there. Or they, they, you know, they'll never get there. So they want to just chirp, you know, the peanut gallery. Yeah, absolutely. So if they condition you like that, to be that way, the guys to be that way. Uh, what is it like off the field when they're in the locker rooms or hanging out in training? Do they fight with one another? I mean, because that anger has to come out some kind of way uh, when you're not on the field. No, I mean, that anger is on the field. I mean, it's there's nothing that goes on outside of that field. Once you step across that field, okay, there's, you know, there, I mean, there's rules, but there's, you know, there's no rules. And anything that has been done off the field within the locker room or something like that will get settled on the field. Oh. There's one because, you know, it's a, it's a team mentality. You, know? right. you can fight on the field and practice. They don't like it, but sometimes it's necessary. And <clears throat> off the field, though, you know, we use everything. The NFL is, uh, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't call it. It's, it's clicky, if you will. Okay. I wouldn't, I'm not going to call it segregated. I'm going to call it clicky because the DBs stay with the DBs. Yeah. The receivers stay with the receivers, the D line, the D line, O line, because that's who you're with all the time. Yeah. And they, you know, so, but there's a very, it's quite a, a, a dichotomy between each position and everybody. It's a, what's one big joke fest, uh, pretty much off the field, you know, in the locker room, a lot of practical games being played. And, you know, comedy and humor is how you get through. Yeah. Of the day because yeah. it's a it's a it's a it's a physical day every day and mental. It's the um, um, race issue a big deal when you play football, or is it like the military? I've heard about the military that everybody's the same when you're in the army. Is that like right. that with football too? Everybody, yeah, everybody's the same. Um, you know, it's, it's a. Uh, Everyone's from a different place, different back, you know, similar backgrounds, but different places, yeah. different colleges, um, you know, so more so when you get to the professional level, everyone's from a different, you know, college and, and area. And uh, that's, it's very, I, I, stu- I was, I studied sociology in college. I don't know what I learned, but <laughs> it, it definitely is entertaining to me to see everybody interact and, yeah. and how, you know, we get along and who gets along with who and, there's a lot of tendencies to uh, who hangs with who and, and things like that. Yeah. You are, um, um, I, and I wanted to ask you about college. There's so many things I want to ask you about. You were in college during the nineties. Has it changed a lot since you left? Well, college football, I think has. Yeah. Um, especially with, you know, targeting and anybody gets hit in the head and uh, you get kicked out of the game. And so, it's very, um, you know, they're very rules. I don't, 
you see all these uh, lawsuits in the professional areas, but you don't ever see a lawsuit in college, which is kind of baffling to me because college is where you get beat up the most. I mean, if you didn't leave practice every day with a concussion, you don't feel like you did anything. Nice. So, yeah, that's as, as an <laughs> offensive lineman. So, because, <laughs> you know, you're a blocking dummy, you're, you play, you, you know, as a, as a freshman going in, you're just a piece of meat. Yeah. And they, they beat you up pretty good. So, uh, but college has changed a lot. It's, uh, I mean, the NCAA has quite a set of rules and regulations that they have to, you know, they really enforce about a number of hours on the field and what you can do, this, that. I mean, it wasn't like that when I played. Yeah, and by doing that, they're softening it down, right? They're softening the guys up, and it's not yeah. as it's not very as challenging. It's not as much fun. No, and it's definitely you know it's it's a fine line. You know, you can have fun, but the only fun that you really have is when you win. Yes, and so yeah. Yeah, you you want to have fun and then do this and then lose the game because it can all that. You know, fun stuff. It does take away from your can take away from your focus and the ultimate goal. Yeah. Were you ever tempted? And you don't have to answer this, of course, if you want. Were you ever tempted to use drugs and things like that in and while playing football, either in college or off? No, I mean, there's so much testing, and uh, especially at Notre Dame, where they did uh, a lot of testing. Oh. The NFL and yeah, the NFL, they did a lot of testing. So there was never any, you know, you know, as far as you know, I can, I can only speak for myself, but as far as that, in those terms of, you know, performance enhancing or things like that, it was pizza and milk. <laughs> nice. 